The boy took a blue beetle and held it in his hand. Suddenly, the beetle emitted blue light. In an instant, it extended its six claws. The boy's name is Jamie. He's lost in the thought that the beetle is in love with him. But the next moment, the beetle jumped on his face. And clinging to him, Jamie screamed in terror. His uncle tried to remove the bug. A powerful blue electric current knocked his uncle three meters away. The current was so strong that it destroyed all the electrical appliances in the room. The electrical box also exploded. The beetle swam wildly inside Jamie's body. It seemed to merge with Jamie. Jamie fell to his knees. He wailed in pain. Suddenly six tentacles sprouted from his back and nailed him to the roof. His clothes were on fire and transformed into a suit of blue armor. Apparently, he has turned into a blue beetle. He landed hard on the ground. The family is stunned. Jamie stood up. He looked at himself in the mirror. How did he end up like this? Suddenly he heard a voice in his head. Mainframe acquired. System matching is initializing. The sight in front of his eyes has its own analysis and scanning function. Before Jamie knew what was happening, the system starting to detect. Electricity surges through Jamie's body. The beetle on his back suddenly opens its wings. With the sound of the thrusters activating, Jamie instantly broke through the roof and flew into the sky. In the next second, Jamie passed through the atmosphere and was floating in outer space. Jamie was just about to realize how amazing it was. A test was given to re-enter the atmosphere. The engines shut down instantly. Jamie was falling fast. He descended into the atmosphere and burned into a fireball and headed straight for the sea. Jamie was about to fall into the sea. A pair of wings suddenly appeared behind him. A sharp break. Jamie stopped steadily on the surface of the sea. The system announced that the detection is complete. Just when Jamie thought it was finally over, the system activated the flight mode again. Jamie rushed out like a rocket, rolling and crawling. He begged the system to let him go. Suddenly, he flew up steadily. The system began to accelerate again, flying down the street at supersonic speed. He's about to hit a building. The system pulled straight up. Jamie flew up into the sky right along the surface of the building. The next second, there was a scream. Jamie landed on top of a luxury car. Landing system check complete. Seeing the car was crushed. Jamie knew he was in trouble. But there was more trouble to come. There's a car accident coming up. A bus coming up the road. The driver slammed on the brakes. But it's too late. The system was in mainframe protection mode. A pair of wings instantly turned into an umbrella. Jamie was wrapped tightly in it. The bus was instantly cut in half. Stopped in the middle of the road. Just as Jamie wanted to explain that he didn't do it on purpose. A message saying the system has finished detecting. Jamie instantly disappeared into the sky. He fell into his own living room. Then he fainted. How did the blue beetle get into Jamie's hands? Jamie was a fresh graduate. However, as soon as he came home, he received a series of bad news. The landlord wanted to triple the rent. His father lost his job and had a heart attack. Jamie vowed to work hard so that his family could live in a mansion with a pool. The next day Jamie showed up in a mansion with a pool. Winning the lottery couldn't get that fast. It turned out that Jamie had become the mansion's cleaner. The owner of the mansion, Aunt Viv, is working on a high-tech beetle. By parasitizing the human body, it can turn ordinary people into super soldiers. Niece Jenny didn't want her father's company to become an arms dealer. They got into a fight. Just when Aunt Viv was about to start the fight, Jamie suddenly appeared to save her. The next thing you know, Jamie was out of a job. In order to express her gratitude, she left her phone number to introduce Jamie to a new job. The next day, Jamie came to see Jenny, but she had forgotten about him. She was disguised as a technician and stole the access card. She sneaked the blue beetle into a hamburger box. The researcher realized the blue beetle was stolen and immediately activated the security system. Jamie saw Jenny trying to escape. The alarm bells were ringing. In the heat of the moment, Jenny gave Jamie the hamburger box. She told him not to open it no matter what. Don't open this box. Jamie's sister was curious and eventually opened the box. She saw the blue beetle inside and grabbed it. Jamie tried to take it back, but his sister threw it to her uncle. When the blue beetle returned to Jamie's hand, the scene from the beginning occurred. Jamie woke up and went to find Jenny to ask for explanation. When he turned around and saw the mirror, he was shocked. The blue beetle was on his back. Jenny was being hunted. Luckily, Jamie showed up just in time, in the middle of a hail of bullets. Jenny was shocked to see the blue beetle on Jamie's back. The blue beetle is a relic of Jenny's father. It didn't randomly choose its host. It seems the blue beetle has decided on Jamie. The only way to solve the problem now is to go back to the company and find the key, then go to her father's lab. Uncle said he could help. He used a system he developed and hacked into the company's surveillance system. It's playing a cartoon on the monitor. Jenny was in the lobby. 
she found a watch, which is the key to the lab. The security guards called Aunt Viv first. She immediately sent Carla, one of the muscles, to stop Jenny. Carla is also a blue beetle transformer. The two transformers threw down. He straight up threw a punch at Jenny. The next moment, Jamie grabbed his fist. Jamie instantly transformed into a blue armored knight. He threw Carla 10 meters away. Carla also transformed into an armored warrior and launched a bazooka with his hand. Jamie spread his wings. He activated his protection mode. Carla's hands turned into machine guns. He fired a barrage of shots. Jamie kept getting hit. The blue beetle has taken over control of his body. A blue shockwave shocked Carla 200 meters away. He landed on the ground with a sharp kick. Then his hands turned into stun guns, then into long knives. But Jamie didn't want to kill anyone. He stopped it right away. At the last moment, he regained control of his body. At that moment, her uncle drove up. Carla reached out and shot his uncle. Carla flew into the air and knocked Jamie out of the air with his palm. He lost control of the blue beetle and became a weakling. Carla kept beating Jamie until he lost his conscience and stomped on his head. Jamie begged Carla not to hurt his family. Carla laughed at Jamie. Your family is your greatest weakness. As he was about to step on him, his uncle drove up to him. A rear end drift. The equipment in the back of the car flew off and hit Carla, saving Jamie's life. Then they made their way to Jenny's father's lab. It's full of high tech. Jenny's father is a blue beetle warrior. Jamie discovered that due to the blue beetle's possession, he had the ability to repair himself. The wounds on his face were healing so fast that they were visible to the naked eye. Uncle looked up the blue beetle on his computer and found that it came from outer space. It's connected to the host's brain, but retains its own consciousness. That's why Jamie can't control it at will. But in times of crisis, the blue beetle will automatically protect the host. The only way to get the blue beetle out is to wait for Jamie to die. Jamie doesn't want to be controlled by the blue beetle for the rest of his life. He went to the roof of the building and saw Aunt Vic's plane is heading to his house. Jamie opened his arms. He tried to take off and chase after her, but there was no response. Jamie remembered that the blue beetle can automatically protect its host. He accelerated and jumped. Jamie instantly transformed into a blue armored knight. He flew back home like a rocket. At this time, Auntie Viv's army has surrounded Jamie's house. Luckily, Jamie arrived in time. Aunt Viv ordered to shoot. Unbelievable. Jamie was invulnerable. Aunt Viv ordered to shoot the family. Jamie spread his wings, protecting his family, and then he manifested his weapon. He shook all the soldiers away. Jamie conjuring up different types of weapons and used these weapons to beat the soldiers down. Sister fell down and was caught by the soldiers. Dad went to save her and was punched by the soldier. He had a heart attack and fainted. At that moment, Carla's mysterious weapon was aiming at Jamie. A giant mechanical claw grabbed Jamie, controlling the blue beetle inside him, and took him to the helicopter. Jamie's house was destroyed by fire, and their father left them. In this critical moment, Grandma encouraged everyone to save Jamie. Jenny took the family to her father's lab. She flew a fly-shaped aircraft to the rescue. They were attacked by soldiers from the castle. The fly transforms into beetle mode, climbing up to the castle crushing one soldier with one of its feet, and then transformed into fart mode smoked all the soldiers. Jamie woke up. All his limbs were tied up. It turned out that Aunt Viv has created a large number of blue beetle subplates. She wanted to suck the blue beetles out of Jamie's body, and transfer them to Carla and more blue beetles. With the machine running, Jamie screamed in agony. At his last moments, Jamie saw his dead father, who encouraged Jamie to protect his family. Jamie gradually regained consciousness, having their families back. His body completely merged with the blue beetle. When Jamie's fingers touched the blue beetle, he regained consciousness. Jenny also blew up the armory under the lab. Jamie eventually broke free, but the blue beetle inside Jamie is still resetting the system. An explosion sent Jamie flying. With the blue beetle's power, Carla became more powerful, and Jamie has not recovered. Chased by soldiers, at the critical moment, Grandma was holding a gatling, spraying bullets all around. Sister was surrounded by the soldiers, the weapon in her hand turned into an iron fist. She knocked the soldiers away with one punch. Then it turned into a shield. The shield was about to be shattered. Jamie arrived just in time. The blue beetle finally became one with him. His hands turned into Thor's hammers and shattered the incoming bullets. He knocked out all the soldiers and saved his sister. But an unexpected red light knocked Jamie out of the sky. It was Carla. He rushed towards Jamie at the speed of light. The two of them fought in the air. But Carla was stronger and he beat the crap out of Jamie. Even the parachute wings were torn off. Jamie destroys Carla's flying machine with a single slash. The two of them smashed straight into the ground. 
Jamie transformed a big sword. Carla took out a lightning whip. He dragged Jamie into the air. Carla then threw an axe at him. Jamie resisted. He transformed into a dragon slaying sword and gave it a solid swing. That blade sent Carla flying 500 meters away against the rain of bullets from Carla. Jamie used a sliding shovel and knocked Carla off his feet. Jamie leapt and slashed. Carla finds a way to stab Jamie in the gut. Destroying the Blue Beetle's regeneration system, he picked up Jamie and dropped him on his back. Carla grabbed a sword and was about to kill Jamie. Suddenly, he was hit by a rock. It was Uncle. Carla raised his hand and fired. Blue Uncle off the wall. Jamie's family is his strength. His inner strength completely exploded. He was covered in blue lightning and leapt into the air opened his arms and fired a powerful current. Carla was knocked out. He was switching between all kinds of weapons and hit Carla with strong blows as he was about to kill Kara when he lost his mind. The blue beetle stopped him. It was Carla's memory of her mother. Jamie regained his senses. He let Carla go, telling Carla he was wrong. His family is not his weakness. It was his greatest strength. And Carla finally realized that it was Aunt Viv who killed his mother. He dragged Aunt Viv and switched into self-destruct mode. Almost blew up Jamie. Luckily, Jenny was there in time. She pulled him into the fly-shaped aircraft. At the last moment, the family was finally safe. And Jamie won Jenny's heart. The end. This movie is called Blue Beetle. Question for this episode. How do you like DC's newest superhero? Comment 111 if you like it. If you don't, comment 222. Cookie of this movie. Surprisingly. Jenny's father is still alive. Maybe it's a setup for the next movie. There's always something to look forward to when watching superhero movies. I recommend watching the movie. Well, that's it for this episode. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.